Liability. Liability is an important thing that you need to know about an uh, BV. So if you look at this, let's read about it. Running a private limit company, you are in theory not personally liable for your company's de debts. However, bank generally asks that as a director or major shareholder, you can co-sign for loans as a private individual, in which case you are then personally liable for repaying any loans. Um, yes, but don't do it unless you really need it, but technically don't do it. Um, you can also be held personally liable in the following instance if, so this is where you can get personal liable. I'll explain later how it works. You enter into an overlay ambition agreement and knew that the BV would not be unable to fulfill its commitments. Mm, okay, that's uh, fair enough. You fail to inform the Dutch tax and in time that you were unable to pay your taxes and security contribution okay you were unable to pay your taxes social security contribution as a result of mismanagement and neglect in the years before reporting this result. okay yeah your bv was declared bankrupt due to mismanagement or neglect in three years leading up to this events an example of mismanagement is failure to file annual report and accountants you made payments that you knew could potentially jeopardize the Okay, if you have an appointment, another legal entity as director, for instance, another private company, this does not exempt you from personal liability. Okay, yeah, I see where this is going. Okay, let me show you guys how this works so you can get a general idea why these examples, by the way, these examples you can find in the law, by the way. Yeah? These example where you are personal liable, you can find it in the law. I cannot tell you exactly where, but it's in this title. Yeah. Normally when you need to look for it, you can find everything about it in this title about liability. I don't have the exact article in front of me so I can uh, show you, but you can find it in this title. So in the title five. Okay. So um, how does it work? Let me show you how it works so we don't get any mis misunderstanding. This is your BV, right? Like I said in many videos, you have a shareholder and you have board members. Sometimes you have a supervisor. Yeah, so let's call this an R. Yeah. The thing is, small company, they don't have a supervisor. Yeah. But sometimes you have a board member that's also a shareholder. Yeah. Most time when you have a small company, let's say you have a BV, small BV, and doesn't have a lot of employees, but the board member is also the shareholder. Yeah, we saw that in a previous video. The thing is, when, when, the BV sign a contract, the BV sign a contract. So you as a board member sign a contract on behalf of the BV. So the BV sign a contract. That means you as a shareholder cannot be liable for that. You understand what I mean? So there is a wall. So let's say uh, you owe me money. I try to get the money from here, but there's no money. I cannot go from if there's not, nothing in here, here. I cannot do that if you're a shareholder. I can. Seriously, I can. That's why it's called legal. That's why it has a legal personality. Yeah. So I cannot do that. That's impossible. So there are some situation where I can do that. But you need to meet the requirements. And here you see clearly that they talk about this situation for example if you are a board member and you do not handle the bv well that's mismanagement that's an example that is here of this bankrupt because of you neglecting your task that's an example here as long as you do your best and you do what's necessary in order to keep your company running that's good to, you're good to go or you do not pay taxes all those things if there's a situation like that, then they can come after you. But you need to meet the requirements 
and the people that come after you cannot be someone um, like a normal private company. Sometimes it's tax company. And so it's tax government. That's something you need to keep in mind. So, yes, a legal personality can protect you, but there are some exception where the government or other company can come after you. There are other situations. We're not going to talk all about those things, but there's something you need to keep in mind. So if you're a shareholder and also a board member, you can get in problem for that. But as long as you keep doing your best, you don't have to worry about anything. So that's technically about liability. There's more to talk about it, but I'm not going to discuss everything. All those rules about liability, you will find it here in the law. So you can read it here. This is the Dutch version. This is the English version. I explained that in another video how you can use it. If you have a question about it, what you can do is on the screen, you see a link or in the description also. Go to the link, go to the law center, and there you can ask me more question about this. Okay. Um, that's the liability about BV. I think we finished the topic BV. I'm not going to discuss these things because um, not interesting. When you have a BV and you're going to do some business in the Netherlands, most of the time you will discuss it with the people that are helping you incorporate the BV about these things. So they will advise you about those things. So if you hire, if you hire us to help you with these things, we will advise you what the best things to do in this situation. So you don't have to worry about those things. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me, loud man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.